people continue to move through our state, evacuees from Florida. Hundreds of thousands of evacuees poured into Georgia, hoping to get out of the path of Hurricane Milton. One other thing that we're doing is monitoring fuel supplies. Uh, obviously, there was a run on fuel in Florida as people were evacuating. A lot of those people are getting to our state and having to refuel. Kemp says that he has been working with Georgia's gas supplier to ensure that they are able to continue to have gas as Florida evacuees make their way through. Gas and lodging, both things that the state is seeing fill up as people come north. If you're on the I-75 track headed to Atlanta, there's not many hotel rooms. You may find a cabin or two at a state park, but the space is very limited. So we're encouraged people to go east, west, or continue further north. As Floridians focus on Hurricane Milton, Georgians are still struggling after getting smacked with two disasters this year and prepping for the destruction that Milton will bring. This is the third storm we've had to deal with in a very short period of time. We have a lot of our first responders, a lot of our utility workers, and other people that are trying to get power back on, clear roadways and other things, literally have been working 16 hours a day, seven days a week. As the rebuild here in Georgia continues, a pressure for more federal funding has been placed on Governor Kemp. Shortly after Hurricane Helene hit, Georgia had just over 10 counties placed on FEMA's assistant list. Since then, they have added over 30 counties. I know they were trying to do something quick to get some counties on, but I think in retrospect, it really sent the signal that if you weren't one of those 11 counties that your county didn't get hit hard and, you know, they weren't paying attention to you. Kemp says that he does anticipate more counties being added that FEMA list following Hurricane Milton. Lindsay Stanger, WTOC News.